Hi everyone and welcome, I don't know why I clapped then, I do not know why I clapped then. Hi everyone and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So, I have just been to one of my favourite, do you call it a takeaway? I don't know. I've got the goods. Our McDonald's, if you're watching, <laughs> I am disappointed with your festive menu, alright? There's literally like four things. So, I've got the Big Tasty with bacon, as a meal, of course, with a Coke. And then I've got the festive pie. I don't have a clue what's in it. So that'll be fun trying it. And of course I had to get the a share box. Cheese bites, cheese milk dippers, whatever the hell they're called. Because when they come out every single year, hon, you've just got to have them basically four days a week. You know? so this video is going to be me trying the McDonald's festive menu whilst answering some of your guys' questions. If you don't follow me already over on my Instagram, it is on screen now. You guys have sent in some questions for me to answer for this video. Obviously, everyone re remains anonymous every single time I do these types of videos. So, if you're not already, please do head over to my Instagram and give me a follow. And then you can be part of these videos, videos more often. We've got the festive pie. That feels hot. I've got my fries. Obviously, I had to get large. I have bought Lorenzo some for he's not here so we might be a bit annoyed if it's cold but it's fine microwave it up got the cheese melts or whatever i don't even know what they're called cheese melts cheese dippers he's gonna kill me well he's not gonna kill me did not give me his big mac right it's fine i probably won't eat this anyway i'm not a huge fan of burgers i won't lie so we've got the big taste it before i get into the questions i'm just going to try it because i'm not a burger person whatsoever but oh it actually smells good okay oh wouldn't that be funny if i walk in and say here's your burger and i've just had a big bite out of it Fuck! why is it so messy This is actually nice. Okay, so the first question is, I'm just gonna cut straight to it because this is my most popular asked, asked, asked question. Are me and Lorenzo still together? And I'm gonna combine it with another question that I've been asked as well. So, yes, we are still together. And I know a couple of times I have posted on my Instagram story saying that we're not. I've learned that I need to stop doing that when we do break up because we do end up just coming back together. And I know some people will have different opinions on it, which is completely okay. Um, but this is where like the other question kind of combines with it. Since having Delilah, it obviously has tested our relationship because it is something completely brand new to us both. Obviously, we've gone from it just being me and him to then having a baby. So, a baby who we've got to love, care for, support, literally do everything for. And that is a massive, massive change. So, it is completely understandable that we have our down days together we have our up days like at this moment in time like at this current moment in time we've we're so happy with each other and yes we have like thought it was best to leave it at times but at the end of the day when you love someone you love someone do you know what i mean and it is completely normal to argue in relationships and to fall out that is completely normal and i just want to kind of say I feel like some people are going to leave some comments being like, oh, but it's not good for Delilah to be around and stuff like that. And on, you're completely right. You're right. But unfortunately, that's life. And obviously, we don't scream and shout in front of her. That's not the case. I can promise you that. Um, it's just like disagreements and nothing serious as such. Do you know what I mean? It's just disagreements. But if you, like, I know a, I know a lot of parents have also messaged, like, messaged me saying, like they're going through similar situations or have been it's completely normal and i know some people are gonna write it's not normal but it is i'm sorry if you're in a relationship and you have been like we've nearly been together two years now and if you don't have an argument within that time frame i don't think that's normal <laughs> but everyone's relationships is completely different but i just kind of wanted to address that um so yeah we're back well I was going to say we're back together. We've never really like left each other's side. Even when we did break up, we're still living together. And as you can imagine, 
bad, but that's not, that's not the best. <laughs> I need to have a cheese bite, because you know when you get them and they're all, like, you get them straight away, and they're, mmm, so cheesy. The next question is, do you want another baby? I do, but not at this moment in time. I feel like it'd be too much. Like, it'll be too overwhelming, too hectic. My life is hectic because it is with work and stuff like that, having a baby. But definitely in the future, I'd like to have two. You know, like, so she's got a little friend. I'd love for her to have, like, a little friend to grow up with. Like, sorry, I'm speaking with a cheese bite in my mouth. Like, I'm one of three sisters, so I've got two sisters, and growing up, don't get me wrong, we fought... <laughs> We cried, we argued, but we also laughed. We made so many amazing memories together. And I want that for Delilah because I don't really know what my childhood would have, would have been like without my sisters. So yeah, I'd like one more, maybe two, but one more. <laughs> Next question is, how is it being a first time mom? Now, I absolutely adore being a mom. Like I'm so, I feel so blessed and grateful that I have Delilah basically. Honest God, I don't even know what I did before I had her. And she's the best thing to ever have happened to me. She's the best thing to ever have happened to me in my entire life. I can't even explain how much I love. I absolutely love and adore her. She's just so happy. She's such a good baby. Honest to God, she's absolutely amazing. She's beautiful. She's just perfect to me. And she has kind of changed my life for the better before i had delilah i was really lost i didn't know what i wanted to do in life i just had no i felt like i had no purpose but then since i've had delilah i just feel like i'm on cloud nine every single day obviously don't get me wrong i do have my hard difficult days with her she's not like that all the time sometimes she's screaming non-stop she like she just won't settle but yet again that's normal as well so yeah she's she's being a mum i just can't even explain the feeling i'm just so grateful that she's my baby now the next question is are you going to buy a house um hopefully in the future yes but at this moment in time we're renting and we're going to continue renting when our tenancy is up we are currently in an apartment but we really want a house with a garden for the dogs obviously for delilah growing up but we want to make sure that our next place where we move to is going to be there like like we're going to be there for a good couple maybe few years because i do even though i obviously work from home and so does lorenzo we don't have to send her to nursery as such but i'd love for her to just go like even one and a half days two days a week simply so that she's socializing with other kids ready for obviously when she starts primary school so i feel like that'll be really important for when we do move to a next like when we next do move because we're gonna have to start looking at nurseries and like putting her on the list and stuff like that so that is exciting but very scary at the same time and then also i won't even lie to you i am the worst person in the entire world for saving so obviously if you want to buy a house you need a fat deposit and i just i can't save to save my life when i have money i kind of live in the moment and i just want to like make memories and experience things and I do love renting because we obviously I know people have the different opinions on renting but for us personally it just works perfect because we don't know where we want to settle we don't know where we want to be long term and it just makes sense for us just to keep renting because I don't know it's just best for us as a couple the next question is how many mil, mil <laughs> how many mil have I had in my lips okay so okay so basically filler should actually like naturally dissolve in your lips like your body should naturally break it down over a certain amount of time so obviously i'm now a qualified aesthetics practitioner so i've learned so much about it and i have people come to me to get the filler dissolve and like they've had filler constantly put in for like three years and they've never had it dissolved now what i like to think of it is this is really off topic to the question but i'll answer that in a minute but like filler on the box has an expiry date so if that's still in your lips and it's expired on the box do you know what i mean like you should really get them dissolved and start over um so for me personally i'm guilty of that i won't lie i've never had my lips dissolved but i probably should because i'm starting to get like little air pockets in my lips from where my body has broke down the filler so but i'm just too scared i'm really scared but 
I was speaking to a client the other day who came to get her lips dissolved and I think I might do it in the new year and then I'll be able to document like my dissolved journey and obviously refilling them as well but I think overall I've probably had like four mil and I know that sounds like a lot but bearing in mind what I've just said your body naturally breaks down the filler that is put in your lip so I don't currently have four mil in now if that makes sense I probably have around a mil because not long after I obviously gave birth to Delilah I wanted a bit of a mummy glow up, do you know what I mean? To make me feel a little bit better. So I got Miss Hudson to do my lips and I just love them so much. Actually, I've just been to Selfridges shopping for Christmas and the lady at the counter said how much she loves my lips, so that put a smile on my face. The next question is, how did you find giving birth? Was it harder than you thought? For me personally, throughout my entire pregnancy, believe it or not, I actually didn't think about birth simply because I didn't want to scare myself and I did watch a couple of birthing vlogs hence why I actually created my own obviously I created my own to kind of because I was documenting my entire pregnancy journey I documented everything from how I was feeling mainly over on my TikTok but how I was feeling weekly I documented like my negative experience at the first hospital that I was at I documented my birth I've done like baby clothing hauls and stuff like that so I, I keep going off on these questions, but I just I just love chatting to you. But yeah, I didn't really think about birth throughout my entire pregnancy until I was being induced. Now, if you don't know, obviously I had to transfer my care from one hospital to the other, and the hospital I transferred to induced me pretty much the day after my first appointment with them because I need sorry my camera turned off then for some reason um so I got induced and that's when I started thinking about birth now I knew all along that I wanted to try my best to have a natural birth and I was so pleased that I was able to get that experience I did have the epidural so I didn't really feel much pain um obviously once you've given birth you do still continue to get these contractions because obviously your womb is still working away and it needs to kind of get back to normal so I I I'm so like I'm really grateful that I did have a positive birthing experience and um, god forbid what could have happened if I didn't transfer my care but that's a story for another time but yeah Burnley Hospital were absolutely incredible they were so understanding really patient they were so calming and I'm not gonna lie I had such an amazing time at Burnley Hospital because like the midwives were just so lovely and we all had a laugh and it was just great but obviously no birth is gonna be easy as such do you know what i mean obviously everyone has the complete different like everyone has their own experiences basically and um, but for me it was amazing and i would go through it again the hardest part for me was the actual induction side of things and also recovery wasn't the best i felt fine so i started doing loads of things we went to blackpool like i think it was like four days after i'd give birth or something to becky's baby shower no becky's gender reveal and oh my god walking i literally just walked up and down the oh no this is another time i went to blackpool but anyway we're walking up and down the pier and it felt like razor blades down there i won't lie so if you're pregnant now or you're recovering take it easy even on days when you don't feel uh, sorry even on days when you feel fine because it's it gets a bit raw i won't lie <laughs> The next question is, how is life treating you at the moment? Honestly, find you such an inspiration. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. That genuinely means the world to me. Um, so life is treating me good at the minute, thank you. I've got so much going off, like something here, something there, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I've got my beautiful little girl, Delilah. Me and Lorenzo are in a really good place at the minute, which is good. And Christmas is slowly but surely approaching, which is exciting. It is Delilah's first Christmas and I'm super excited for it. I think I mentioned this in another video, but growing up, I kind of lost the excitement for Christmas. But like now I've got Delilah, I feel like such a big kid again. I'm so excited. Excited. I've just been to get some Christmas presents now for some like for some of my family um, and yeah I'm just over the moon with life at the minute I'm doing my aesthetics and um, gold digger coaching is coming back in January I will answer a question about that soon and yeah my social media I'm just I'm really happy thank you this is a good one this is actually a funny story so where did you buy Rome from now if you're wondering who is Rome Rome is my chow chow um is huge it's absolutely huge but where did i buy him we bought him off gumtree we bought him off gumtree 
So we used to live in Bolton, right? And one, I think it was when we got back from Abaya, I was like, oh, let's get a dog, let's get a dog. We found him on Gumtree, guys, and we went to collect him that same night and bought him off Gumtree. So if you want a dog, add, look on Gumtree. Look on Gumtree because so many people say to us that Rome is literally the best child child that they've ever seen. So yeah, hop on Gumtree. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about being a mum? Honest to God, literally everything. And I know everyone probably says that, but like the cuddles, the feeds, the cries, um, everything, absolutely everything. She's just, she's literally completed me. I don't have a clue what I did without her before. She liked my little bestie and I just love everything about being a mum. Don't get me wrong, some days are very challenging, more challenging than others, but I don't know, it's just, you just get through it, don't you? You just keep going, but yeah, I just love everything. The next question is, what happened to gold diggers? Now, if you don't know what gold diggers is and you're new to my social media, gold digger coaching is my company where I basically help people get collaborations and I help people get into the influencing industry. Now, at the start of November, I did send in a message into the group chats regarding me having a break. I have been doing gold digger coaching now for coming up to four years. So as you can imagine, I was constantly on my phone 24 seven. And about a month ago, it got to the point where I just mentally and physically couldn't carry on. So for once, I put my health first and I prioritised myself over the company. As over the last few years, I always put gold diggers first before myself. So many people used to say to me, Ruby, you need to like slow down, you need to have a break for yourself. And I just didn't listen because I wanted to make sure everyone else was okay who like was on, who was part of my company. But since having Delilah, I have had a complete new outlook on life and it is so important to put yourself first whenever you need to and not to be ashamed of it as well so i did make everyone aware in the whatsapp groups about the situation and then i had some horrible questions uh, not questions i did receive some nasty disgusting messages from some people in the groups um and then i don't know they kind of made me feel bad for putting myself first for once but I just know, like, at the end of the day, your mental health, your physical health should be a priority over absolutely everything and anything. Don't listen to what anybody says to you because you need to put yourself first and I wish that I would, I had listened to other people like a year ago, two years ago. And obviously now I have Delilah, I've started doing my aesthetics as well, which has allowed me to get out of the house, speak to people, meet new people, rather than just being cooped in my own home 24 seven, replying to messages on my phone 24 seven. It is coming back on January the 1st, 2023. So obviously next month now, and I'm so excited to get back to it. There will be a lot of major changes putting in place, which will benefit myself as well as my clients as well. So if you are interested in starting out in the influencing industry, make sure that you do check out Gold Digger Coaching LTD which stands for limited on Instagram and yeah you'll be able to join very soon if that is something that you're interested in the next question is how did you and Lorenzo meet <laughs> right me and Lorenzo actually first spoke on TikTok once on Instagram live no I was once on TikTok live and he was commenting and I did a TikTok or something saying oh I'm taking boyfriend applications or whatever and he actually messaged me on Instagram saying i've heard that you're taking applications with like the eyes emoji and then i replied like laughing faces i was like haha no way or something like that and then it just went from there i used to live on my own and then he came up to see me i went down to nottingham and it was just like a back and forth thing like not for long i think i known him like two or three weeks and he moved in i drove down to nottingham to pick him up and he just never left so yeah that is how me and lorenzo met Oh my god, someone's asked me how do I make my roast potatoes. I'm not going to answer that in this video, but I am actually going to be doing a video where I cook a, I was going to say a Sunday roast, but like a Christmas dinner. So many people absolutely love my cooking over my social media. So I'm actually going to do a full on YouTube video on how I make my roast dinners. So obviously I'll show you how I make everything, like the roast potatoes, um, the carrots, the chicken, and all of that good stuff. To make sure that you do keep an eye out for that because I'm not gonna lie, I'm not too bad of a cook. I'm actually pretty good. Right, I think the festive pie is cooled down now. But I'm really scared to try it. Oh right, it says it says festive pie with custard and minced meat. What the f 
what the fuck bro. Oh my god, where do I put it? No thanks. No thanks. No thank you. I'm going to answer a couple more and then I'm going to start driving home. So the next question is, have you got any more holidays booked? So, we haven't got any booked as of yet, but we are thinking of doing like a little festive weekend away. Maybe it's in Scotland or London. Um, and then we're looking at booking somewhere for the new year as well. But like to go abroad in new year. I'm not too sure where. Um, we did mention maybe Paris or somewhere like that. But who knows? We've not got anything booked as of yet. The next question is, if you could live anywhere, where would you be? Oh, I love that question. Where would you be? Where would that be, sorry? I love that question. So, it's funny that you should say that, because why is my camera just made me look orange? Did I look like that before? I don't know. But today, me and Lorenzo actually went for food in an area called Hale Barns, and I'm not even joking yet. The houses around there are absolutely unbelievable. So, if I ever win the lottery, I will be living there. I promise you but realistically speaking I don't actually know and that's another reason as to why I don't want to get a mortgage somewhere because I don't know where I want to be I don't know where I want to settle I feel like I'm not explored enough to kind of find somewhere where I would be happy settling down if that makes sense like when I first moved out when I was 21 I moved to the city center of Manchester and then when I met Lorenzo we moved to Bolton and then we've moved back to the city center so I don't really know I don't know in the UK, but one place that I would happily live abroad would be Marbella, simply because we went last summer and Delilah was made in Marbs. <laughs> um, and it just felt so homely, like it actually felt like home. I don't know. And there were so many families there, especially when they finished school, like near the shopping centre. And we even looked at each other and was like, that is so cool. Like, they were English as well. So they've clearly moved over to Marbella and they go to school there. And I just love that concept. I would love for Delilah to grow up in another country. I think that would be sick. But realistically speaking, I don't know because I'm such a family person and I don't know if I could leave my family behind. Even though it is only like a two hour flight, but I don't know. I'm not too sure on that question actually. Right, this is the final question and it is quite a good one. What would you do if you didn't do social media as a job? Now that is a very good question because growing up I had no idea what I would want to do. I went through a stage when I was in high school, I wanted to do something to do with PE, whether it was like a PE teacher or something like that because I loved sport. But then when I was 16 I got really poorly, which then led to me not being able to choose sport or PE as an option at college because I went to college for a little bit until I dropped out because it just wasn't for me now when I was poorly I had something called ME so it kind of affected like my, how my brain works and stuff like that and I was in college and I was just looking at the teacher like nothing was absorbing in my brain and I used to go to college and not go to lessons so I'm not promoting that don't do that make sure you do go to your lessons but for me I went to college I didn't go to my lessons college was ringing up my mom like right Ruby's not here again blah 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 and it got to the point where my mum actually had to drop me off at college instead of me getting the bus but then I'd just walk up to the bus stop and go home <laughs> um so I don't actually know what I would be doing now I don't have a clue because I like my dream my dream as a teenager was to do something in sport because I was so active I loved sport um and then my health kind of preventing me from being able to do that and then I went to college to study biology geography and geology I love geology I hated geography biology I was like oh, what is going off in here and then I, I ended up swapping biology for photography and then I loved photography because it was creative I was like do you know what I mean like it wasn't all writing and learning about information obviously you learn about stuff in photography but it's more like going out getting photos editing and stuff like that and I feel like I would have gone more down that route of photography and something creative but who knows I actually don't know so that is all the questions that I am going to be answering today thank you so much if you did send in any answers no if you sent in any questions I'm the one who gives the answers but anyway I need to go back now because my food has gone freezing and Lorenzo will not be happy with a cold burger 
so thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy please do smash a massive thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already let me know in the comments down below what videos you would like to see throughout vlogmas and i will see you in another video tomorrow bye